Hey everybody, it's Will. Welcome back to my channel. How you all doing? Oh, what a day it's been. So, if any of you guys are following me on Instagram, you'll know that yesterday I did a little live session. Well, I say little, it was about 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did a live on Instagram to say that I was going to the dentist tomorrow, and that is today. Um, so, for those that aren't following me on Instagram or who just aren't on Instagram, I'll kind of reiterate what I was talking about yesterday. I was saying that I've not been to the dentist for 14 years now. That was because of a phobia of the dentist. I had a really bad uh, experience at a dentist probably more than 14 years ago. Um, I needed uh, some sort of, sorry, excuse me, I've got a bit of sniffles. It's not that before anyone starts getting worried. Um, yeah, so over 14 years ago I had a really bad experience at the dentist. They had to take out a, like some sort of section in my tooth and then maybe, was it a root canal or some, something along those lines? Something that needed like really heavy, well, digging out of the tooth. Uh, anyway, they did something wrong with it and it got infected and it left me in a lot of pain. And also the dentist in question, he never told me the proper pain relief to take. So I was really, really climbing the walls with really acute pain because we, as we know with toothache or if there's people out there that have never had toothache, lucky you, uh, I envy you, but toothache, it can be mild or it can be like what I had and it goes along your jaw, into your ear, up your face, behind your eye, you know, headaches, the lot. Uh, not pleasant at all. Uh, so that was that. And after that, life got really busy for me. And then I was really struggling with mental health. Uh, got alcohol dependent. Then that turned into full-blown alcoholism, in my opinion. Uh, well, actually, and the doctor's opinions as well. Yeah. Then I got pancreatitis, uh, which is like an inflammation of the pancreas. Uh, I couldn't eat because I was like vomiting up to 30 times a day. And of course, acid in the stomach ruins your teeth. Uh, it strips the enamel and such. So my teeth got pretty much, well, almost ruined. Uh, so today, uh, I'm really proud to say I plucked up the courage to go and see a dentist. So, last night, I, b before I went to sleep and things, I got, I think I said on my Instagram, but not on here, I got a link sent from Emma Kenny, who's a psychologist, who, despite what anyone says, what anyone says, she is an amazing human being. Okay? Uh, she sent me a link to one of her YouTube videos for... A, medita a guided meditation uh, with regards to getting over your phobias and things. It was pretty intense. Um, I, when I listen to uh, a guided meditation, I have my earphones in uh, just so it blocks out, you know, like all the, any distraction noises, that are, like a noise happening outside or one of the cats meowing or whatever, just, just so that I can purely focus on what the person that's uh, hosting the meditation says. That was really intense. Uh, afterwards, I felt really nice and relaxed and managed to get to sleep. But I didn't stay asleep. Uh, I woke up about three or four times uh, during the night. <sighs> Which isn't great when you when you really need all the rest and like refreshing sleep that you can get when you've got you know you've got something to something big happening in your life that you've got to face the next again day. So this morning I woke up, I was fine. Uh, or if I wasn't, I'm not aware of it. I, I seem to have been fine. The appointment was at, I actually thought initially it was at half past one. Luckily I checked the text that the dentist sent and it was at half past two, which kind of gave me a bit more time to 
you know, like kind of psych myself up to go in there. Uh, so I thought, rather than get the bus, I just walked because it seemed, although it's really, really, really cold today, I didn't actually realise how cold it was. And I never put on my really heavy jacket. Um, yeah, so I just walked along to the dentist, which I think is about maybe a mile and a half away. So it took me about 20 minutes to walk there. And as I'm walking there, I thought, It started to rain. I thought, oh no, I'm going to get caught in this. But I didn't. And I managed to get there. But as I was getting to the dentist, my thoughts were, well, well one, I've not been to a dentist in, well, at least in 14 years. Uh, so how do I kind of greet the person that I see when I first get there? And two, do I need to wear a mask, even though I'm exempt from wearing a mask because of uh, hidden disabilities, which I've got a lanyard for. Uh, so, like, I had all that kind of stuff going on in my head, and then um, <clears throat> with this particular dentist I'm registered with, it's an NHS dentist, uh, I can't afford a private one, unfortunately. So, uh, which is which is great, it's still a dentist. Uh, so I checked the text, and uh, it said that you had like the night before I had to fill in a form because it's a new, like an online form. Uh, and then I noticed when I was getting there, because I had to check the address to make sure I was going to the right place because there's two dentists uh, within the vicinity. So, and then I did the thing, I thought, oh, you check in with your phone. Modern. Whatever happened to just going in and say hi to the receptionist? Never mind. Uh, so yeah, the, I sat there and I'm thinking to myself, I'm dreading this because because I'm not sure of what kind of person the dentist and the dentists, dent, <laughs> sorry, dentists. It's quite difficult for me to say dentists. Assistant. I didn't know. I don't know what I didn't. Put my teeth back in. Because I didn't know what the dentist and the assistant were going to be like, I felt uncomfortable. And then, so I'm mulling over all these kind of thoughts in my head of, oh, they're going to judge me, they're going to say you've not been looking after your teeth properly, blah, 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 blah. But I was really wrong. So incredibly wrong. Um... Like, last night and previous to going to the dentist today, I thought to myself, rather than just going and looking really awkward and anxious and keeping in what I'm feeling, I'm just going to go there, tell them exactly how I'm feeling, what my thoughts are, and just put it all on a plate to them and see if that would work, see if that would benefit, and it really did. It really did. Uh, I said to them that, you know, my teeth are in a bit of a state because of being ill. And I said to them, this is going to be like the like the last step in my recovery, if you like, from, well, from alcoholism and uh, a continuation of working on my mental health because that's really important. Uh, not just to me, but everyone, in my opinion. Uh, and before anyone starts to think that he's an expert, no I'm not. I'm not a psychologist, psychiatrist or any expert whatsoever. I'm just a person that experiences mental health on a daily basis. Disclaimer. Uh, so I said, I said all that and I said, right, okay, well we're going to have a look in your mouth and see what's what. And the dentist and the assistant dentist, I can't remember exactly what the, the the other woman's job title was, but they couldn't have been more friendly and welcoming and understanding and kind and empathic. And I thought, I can just relax in this seat and not worry. 
after all these years, there's been nothing to worry about. Well, of, of course, it it helped that uh, they were really nice people at the dentist surgery. Is that what you call it? Or is it dental pra dental practice? I'm sorry. Uh, they were really, really nice people. Uh, and I had a bit of a joke with them because, well, actually, I'm still wearing this top. Um, <laughs> I didn't realise it, but I'd, I'd looked down and I'd, man I'd got toothpaste all down my front uh, before because I brushed my teeth before I left. And, yeah, I had toothpaste all down the front. And I said, well, at least I'm, I'm willing. You know, at least I'm willing to look after my teeth. Sorry, the creak of the door. One of the cats has just walked in. You coming up? Come on in. Right. Uh, yeah, so we had that bit of banter going on, which was really nice. Uh, and then she was looking at, you know, all my different teeth and what teeth aren't there anymore and uh, what needs work, what one, what teeth are fine. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with, you know, I, I mean, I always am, but I'm going to be brutally honest with this channel. There's not, uh, I don't. I, th I think there's two teeth in my mouth that don't need work on them. So, yeah, it's going to be a long road ahead. The other thing that was worrying me, and I conveyed this to the dentist, was I'm oh, terrible with needles, um, especially when they're going in your mouth. So. I said to her, rather than say, you know, do you offer the, the numbing cream before you put in the injections, I kind of childishly said, do you have magic cream? <laughs> and she said, yes, yes, we have the, the numbing agent. So I'm sorry, but I call it magic cream because it sounds nicer than numbing agent. Uh, so yeah, that has been my day and I can't wait to get these fixed. <laughs> but uh, I said to her, what are you going to do about you know, the missing teeth at the side? And she said, well, you've got two options. Well, three options, really. You can either leave it as it is with a gap. And I thought, no, not for me. That's not what I like to see when I look in the mirror. Or you can have a dental implant, which will cost £2,800. Not an option, also. <laughs> I'm not rich. Uh, quite the contrary, but never mind. Or, uh, after we've done all the work, the other work in your mouth, you know, like extractions and fillings and root canal and all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> we can give you a denture. So it looks like I'm getting a false tooth. Thirty-two and getting a false tooth. Well, I suppose at least with that, if I get any trouble with it, I can just put it in a glass at night. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose. I mean, I've had so many problems with my teeth. I've always said to anyone that will listen, I'd just rather get them all taken out and get false teeth. Be a lot less trouble, a lot less pain, but hey-ho. But I'm hoping to, in, at some point in the future, uh, I have no idea how I'll raise the money to get cosmetic dentistry, but I'd love a set of like completely new teeth that are bespokely made or veneers so if there's anyone out there that would like to use me as their guinea pig or whatever that are starting out or whatever or you know anyone that wants to take a little bit of pity someone that wants to be really nice and kind a bit of kindness for an empath that gives a lot to others Nah, I'm only joking. Well, 
I'm not joking, I would like some new teeth, but I don't give. I don't give to receive. It's. I don't really, really receive a lot in general either. I just like to give. No, not that. That was filthy. Yeah. So that's been my day. Uh, so to anyone else out, out, out what? To anyone else out there, if you have a fear, and it may be a huge fear, and again, just to say I'm not an expert at these things, but if you face that fear, I mean, if it's a fear that's holding you back from doing the things that you really need to do in life, go and conquer it. Go and try and get over it. I mean, I know it's a long road ahead for the work that's to be done in my teeth. In my teeth. Yeah, in my teeth and on my teeth and my mouth. Yeah. But yeah, try and find some help if you've got a phobia. I mean, it might sound... It might sound, like, ridiculous to some people. It might sound... A, a major thing to you, but it doesn't matter. It's your fear. It's your phobia. Only you know how difficult that is. What symptoms that gives you. What dread it gives you. But try and try and work at it. Do you good in the long run? In my opinion, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of an apology about my face. It's. My face has broke out in rashes and things again, so I've made a feeble attempt at makeup to try and cover it, but it looks I'm not I'm not a makeup person, I'm not a makeup artist. So I just watch and copy other people. Uh I know some really talented makeup artists out there. Uh so they'll probably be screaming at the screen right now, I think. Or hopefully not. I mean hopefully I've managed to, to wing it. So, if there's any fears that you're facing right now, let me know in the comments and yeah, I'd like to I'd like to share some stories on here. I'm still trying to get a bit of a community going on this channel. Uh, obviously, YouTube right now aren't concentrating on the smaller channels. It's all the huge channels. Us, uh, us little small ones don't really get a look in, but I'd like to... I'd like to grow, I'd like to grow a little bit of a community and if you're not already uh, following me on Instagram, go and follow me, I'll leave the the username in the description uh, or I could just tell you what it is right now if you search for, for that, no don't search for that, search for at Will Empath on Instagram and on Twitter because I'm on there as well, yeah. So, and also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're not already. And I shall see you again soon in another video. Take care. Lots of love to you all. Bye.